Okay, welcome back everybody to Coffee and Art on a Wednesday. Uh, I just did a uh, color book segment. Well, I actually did two. One seemed to be fine. The second one disconnected me. So hopefully we won't get disconnected while I'm doing the Abandoned Places segment. So we'll see how the uploads go. But first off, I had a tickle in my throat. And one of the girls, you know, mentioned something about <clears throat> why I have a tickle in my throat. So let me clear my throat. <coughs> Okay, we're good. <laughs> so we're good now. Okay, so anyway. I'm sorry, I can't resist doing that every now and then. <laughs> oh, you, Linda read it. Linda knew. Linda knew what was coming. Okay, so we're going to work in abandoned places. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to work it in, and uh, I'll show it real quickly, some of the pages that I've done. That never gets old, yeah. <laughs> and uh, so I, it's a book that I use to alter, to do mixed media collage altering in. And uh, so I have done quite a few pages in it, um, and this, is, this being one of them. Now, in the previous segment that I talked about what I was going to do today, I already did a flip through this, and I've done a flip through this multiple times, so I'm not going to do it now. And hopefully we're just kind of checking to make sure that the recording works here. Um, but this is kind of where we're going with it. So I'm just going to kind of flip through here just so you can kind of see the kind of pages some. I've done quite a bit of work in this book, I have to say. I've done quite a bit of pages in this book. Most of them are recorded. Some of them aren't. Like this one's not recorded. <clears throat> but anyway, it's all paint and collage and and using the using the page as a jumping off point to make your own little worlds. There's a recording on this one. <laughs> and uh, so anyway, just kind of flip through. So I did bookmark uh, like four different pages that uh, I'm going to pick from today. <clears throat> uh, there's a video on this one. Uh, there's a video on this one. I said I wasn't going to flip through, but here we go. Uh, some are just in process. Some just have some, there's a video on this one. Some have just bits like tacked down that I might want to use on that page. <clears throat> so yeah, hopefully we can do something here. So the ones that I have bookmarked are, I think I have four here saved. Let's see, I have this one. Thought about working on this one. Thanks, Pepper Z. <clears throat> I have this one. I'm thinking I might be going with this one. But then I also have this one. I like this one too. And this one. So I'm thinking it's either going to be this one or this one. I kind of like this one. But I like this one too. I think we'll go with we'll go with this one. So I think we're kind of zoomed in enough. Uh, I mean, it's just like filling the camera space here. So we're going to just roll with that. I just have this little bit of stars tacked down here with some, um, and it's uh, it's right over some little bit of text. I might have tacked it down too much. Doesn't matter because I'm going to paint it over it anyway. So I have a little bit of star that I picked out here. Let me just take the thing off here. <clears throat> and I'm going to glue on, and I, for the glue I use, let me get my stuff here, let me get my brush, I'm going to get a glue brush here of some kind in the water, this okay, alright, so I'll try to remember to varnish one, I always forget to varnish for you guys, I need my baby wipes, To dry out the water out of my glue brush. Let's get the excess water out. And uh, <laughs> they look like scrubbing bubbles. Yeah, they do look like that scrubbing bubble commercial, doesn't it? Well, we're not going to make a scrubbing bubble. <laughs> 
Oh, and we might put an animal or something in here. Okay, so I have a glue brush. These these are my yucky brushes that just, they're the only brushes that I keep in water. Uh, I will be using golden matte medium for my glue. And I just pour some out on the, one of my palettes here. And then I need a card to scrape with. <clears throat> scrape things down with. <laughs> and then I have my baby wipes. And I like Huggies. Uh, they're just huggy natural. There's no soap, no aloe, no nothing in them. Because some of those baby wipes can like uh, soap up. They get all, you know, soapy like. So, yeah. <laughs> Pac Man Ghost. Yeah, they do kind of look like Pac Man Ghost, don't they? All right. So, anyway, I don't know where we'll go with it yet. But I am going to, and I put a baggie on top of the lid so that I can just take the lid off really easy. It doesn't stick the lid. I'm going to pour some out. Let's start with that. And I put the, you know, lid baggie back over the lid so it doesn't stick. Because it, it, if you glue this lid shut on here, there's no getting it off. Just saying. Uh, so this will be my glue here in a minute. I'll set that aside. And then this is the varnish I use when it's all said and done. Same varnish I use on my art cards. And I, I haven't varnished many in here yet. I have eventually, when I, if I finish this book, will want to varnish all the pages. Uh, but my matte medium knocks back all the shine. Let me go ahead and do that first. Because you don't have to do this, but I... Oh, wait. One more thing. Let me get some... Let me get some parchment paper. I still need to get some wax paper, though. You want to put some papers between your pages because you'll glue them you'll glue them together. So I just got some parchment paper here. I usually use wax paper, but I'm out of it. So I'm just going to put that between the pages here so I don't uh, glue them together. Okay, so see, I got the page, some wax paper all the way around. <clears throat> yes, uh, we enjoy those Jane Davenport watercolors. <laughs> yeah, I got the, uh, we're talking about, someone was talking about, here's the, this is the natural set, and this is the bright set. Okay, we're not going to use those today, though. We're going to use acrylic paint. All right, so... If you want to knock back all the shine on a page, then just put you a coat, a thin coat of matte medium over the whole thing just to get rid of the shine. Now, and it also kind of preps your page. You don't really have to do this because I'm using a lot of matte medium anyway while I'm gluing everything down. But if you just want it nice and prepped for uh, gluing then and have it all matte, more than anything, that's why I like to do it. Is just to have it everything a matte finished rather than a shiny glossy finish that's usually in books. All right, so now I'm gonna take my heat gun and dry that. And that just knocks back the, sh the sh shine, the gloss. I know it sounds funny that at the end I'm going to put a gloss varnish all over everything. So that's what I'm saying. You really don't have to do this. I just, yeah. I'm going to be uh, gluing everything down with the matte medium, so it's going to get covered anyway. have any questions on what I use and I try to talk uh, I'll t tell you everything I'm using as I'm using it but I do have a video on my playlist uh, I think it's uh, called my art supplies in color books and collage so I do show all the different supplies I use well not maybe every single pencil I've ever used but for the most part um, it, water down gel medium I don't I don't know, Lindsay. It may be, and it probably depends on the brand. Lindsay was asking if she waters down gel medium, which is thicker than the matte medium. Will it work as well as matte medium? I've not done that. I've never watered it down. My thing would be it would be fine probably if you just wanted to prep a page like this, but if you want it to actually stick, 
I would test it. I mean, you know, if you got gel medium and you just want to do this with, you know, and test it, I, I would think it would. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Janet. Thank you. Um, if you want to uh, test it, you know. Yeah, I don't know. The only matte medium I use is golden, so I can't speak to any other. Uh, I will say this. I know people say, well, what about Mod Podge? And now I know Mod Podge has a new paper type out. Well, I don't know how new it is. It's been out for a while. A new paper type of Mod Podge. Here's my thing about Mod Podge. It can stick your journal pages together. I know there are techniques to wax your pages, powder your pages, dust your paper, and all that to prevent the Mod Podge from sticking your pages together. I don't use it. I use my golden matte medium. It is more expensive, but I trust it. And if I'm going to spend years working in an altered book or a mixed media collage book like my uh, Dilusions ones, and I'm going to want, I don't want my pages sticking. Just saying. Not taking no chances on my pages sticking. <laughs> um. Yeah, well, if she gets home, if she gets home and wants to stream, Jean, uh, Janet gets home and wants to stream, let me know. I mean, otherwise, we're just going to keep rolling. We're going to rolling, rolling, rolling. Okay, so I got this little bit of stars here <laughs> that I cut out of an astronomy calendar. So I think I'm going to kind of, I'm going to use some of it to cover up the text here, which I could just paint that out. And I'm going to put paint all over any, everything anyway. I think I'm going to want it to go this way, though, because the edges are going to be dark. And I might do a little bit continuing over here. Now, this is going to be lots of paint and stuff going on, too. And then I'll add my own stars, my own nebulas, and all that. But I think I'm going to put those there. And then I got some wild animals here. I got some jewelry bits. Ooh, ooh, look at that. That's a cool-looking vase. Not for a vase, but for something in a nebula. Oh, I'm liking that. And it's kind of that shape, but although it wouldn't be that shape at the end. I think I'm going to use this. So I'll try to, it's been a while since we did a big page like this. So, um, and, not, and Mod Podge never dries down here in Florida. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's true too, Eileen. In Florida, it probably never dries. Nothing probably dries in Florida. <laughs> um, does it prevent bleed through? Um, I never have a problem with bleed through anyway with anything. Even when I work in um, Bennett Klein's thin paper uh, using watercolor. Someone's asking about does it prevent mediums coming through like watercolor. It's the water that prevent that bleeds. It's not usually your paint, your watercolor. It's the water itself that causes bleed. Now, here's the thing. Most books are going to have shiny, thick pages. You don't even have to worry about that anyway. Number two, watercolor is not going to work on top of shiny paper. Okay? Now that I put the matte medium on here, I could, like, put some watercolor. I don't want to use watercolor in my books because it reactivates. So when you see me working in my mixed media collage, art journaling, altered books, it's going to be acrylic paint because it won't reactivate. I don't want to use anything that reactivates. If you, put, if you put this down on a color book page, it's going to coat the page just like gesso. But your watercolor is going to float. Watercolor is going to float. Watercolor is made to go into the paper. And if you put gesso or anything that prevents the watercolor from going into the paper, it's just going to float. I, this, yeah. Yeah, absorbent ground is made for watercolor. Exactly. But that's so that it can absorb into the absorbent ground. It's like absorbing into the paper. So if you want to coat your books or something and use watercolor, on it, use absorbent ground. It's made for watercolor to soak into or, you know, get in there. But I don't use any of that stuff, guys, when I'm doing it. I just don't just so. I don't, yeah, I don't do any of that. Yeah. I just don't find the need for it. Don't, you know, but you try everything. Try everything you want. It's just, I don't find a need for it. 
Okay, so now let's see. Do I want, I think I'll just tear some of this out. I just like these colors here. So I think I'm going to incorporate this into my nebula up here somewhere. Into a, like a black hole and a nebula. I don't know which way do I want it to go. Do I want it this way? I kind of like it that way. So I think I'll go with that. Just a vase. You know, but I like it. <laughs> um, and I'll try to tell you what I'm doing and using as I go, okay? Because uh, it's been a while since we've done one. Uh, let's see. I need a piece of a watch or something. I'm thinking, do I want it here? This one may not be the right thing. I might need this over here and this over here. I might go reverse those. Have this one over here. I don't know, I kind of need the light on this side with this over here. I don't know, maybe. Hey, Lori. Well, maybe we'll go with that. And I'm going to paint in here, so. All right, so let's see. Let's see what else I might need. Do I need another piece of a watch? Uh, is that one going to be enough? I need a smaller bit on top. Maybe. Where's my scissors? I have some animals over here. Oh, and if you're if you're doing collage and you're gonna paint it in like we do here, torn edges will blend better with paint than cut edges. Although I do both, but just know that if you uh, cut an edge like this, that's gonna be harder to blend with paint because it just shows up more than a torn edge but I think I'm gonna like it there okay it needs to be just I don't want it on top of that one so let's cut that down just a little I'm liking that okay so we're just altering the world now I'm gonna have some kind of bright colors here so I'm probably gonna want some bright colors over here whether I glue them down or paint them I don't know yet Kind of looking through some jewelry bits here. I got some flowers. I got some, um, I kind of like that. No, I don't want purple though. Let's see, I want something that coordinates with this. And like I said, I got some animals, so I don't know. Oh, look at this ring. This ring is cool. That ring is the shape of some of these. Let's see here. I'm not sure about the turquoise on top, but I do like the shape. Nah, it's too turquoise, too not right. I just it's hard to describe why I, why I pick something and why I don't. <laughs> but it just just doesn't look right. Okay, so let's see. I'm flipping. Now this might work. This ring. Or is it a bracelet? I don't know what it is, but I'm liking the this. So. If y'all got any questions, put them in caps. I'm just rolling here. Those buildings all have faves. <laughs> it has the red that's what I'm looking at right there the red liking that but I might want waves too hmm do I want some waves maybe maybe I'll have some waves on the stars so if I bring this up now I don't know yet <clears throat> Didn't look right to you either. <laughs> and, you know, some of it's, you know, composition. You want it to be compositionally correct. Like, that's why I want the colors like this. Technically, I'd probably need a little bit more red somewhere else. But, you know, you, you kind of get an eye for it. And some of them just turn out better than others. 
I don't really, you know, I don't know. I don't worry about it so much. It's my book to play in, practice in. Some compositions are better than others. Some I like better than others. Some turn out better than others. But, you know, that you learn every time you do a new one, you learn. So, it's just fun. It's play. Okay, here's another big ring. I might have enough of that. So let's see about moving on to, maybe, do I want an animal in this one? I don't have these big animals. I don't think I have any small ones. Let's see. Let me just look. I like, kind of like wolf eyes are good, a deer. Deers are on everything. Now, oh, these little baby foxes. I think these are foxes. Let's see. Whoop, oh, sorry guys, I smacked into you. <laughs> Those are cute. <laughs> they could live, these foxes could live in there. This could be their home. These little things here, those little pods. Fox pods! Fox pods it is. I'm looking through here. I'm not seeing anything else that's really... I'm going with fox pods. Alright, so let's see how we can get them in here. <laughs> I'm going to just kind of cut it down first. And then I'll trim them out. Do I have two pages here? For some reason, I think I'm cutting out two pages. I am cutting out a deer on the other side. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so now I'm going to individually cut them out so I can move them around. <laughs> you have a bruised nose, Jean. I'm sorry. <laughs> and again, if you tear them out, which it, I... I would probably do if I had a little more time to do that. It's better to tear than to, to than to cut them because you can blend better. But I think they're going to probably more sit on top anyway, so should be okay. Fox pods. Do you have any kilted chickens? <laughs> no, I don't. Either in my sketchbook, I could draw some. <laughs> No kilted chickens today. <laughs> Girls. I think these are little foxes. I'm not sure. Aren't they baby fox? So I'm thinking, let's go down here. I want them all on this page or do I want one over here? And the thing about going over the ditch, I talked about this before too, it's best if you want, uh, if you have a piece that you want on both sides, it's best to cut it rather than have it glued in the ditch because the opening and closing of the book will wear on anything you've glued right here and it'll eventually wear on your page. So if you are going to have one on one side and one on the other, it's best to cut them. I like how that little star is right above his little head. This star is right above his little head. So I'm going to cut these two apart. Like that one there. And then I'll just draw in my own star on this one. Over this one's head. Although it kind of... Almost could have him there because the watch hands are going to come off of this. But I like the idea of them being at the bottom here. Do you find it easier to do this type of collage when your elements are already cut out? No, not really, Packer Die. I don't. If I find, and I, y'all know I have drawers full of collage stuff. I find that I, I'll just if I just tear it out. If I just tear these stars out and put them in the star drawer, 
<laughs> but I don't cut out like fussy cut anything until I'm ready to use it. Very rarely do I cut fussy cut anything until I'm ready to use it. Let's move this over just a little so they're not like right up on each other. I think this one needs to come over and tear that down a little. Okay, now I gotta decide where do I want this? Do I want this like behind here? Kinda. I just don't want it, I want this to flow. <laughs> Catalogs for me, um, I'd rather use magazines and calendars because catalog images are very tiny. Uh, even on my tiniest art cards, like where do I have my art cards? Where's my samples? Even on my tiniest art cards, I find that I tear little things out of big things. For instance, like, where are my extra art cards? I cleaned up here and put everything. Ah, oh, here we go. No, that's not them. I don't know what I did with that. I have a few extra ones. Ah, here we go. Let me get out this tray. Um, I keep a few for samples because I give so many of them away. Um, <clears throat> even on the tiniest ones. These aren't done. These aren't done either. Where's my finished ones? I don't even know what I did with my finished art cards. My ones that I keep for samples. Because I keep a few. No, those aren't them. Well, here's a 4x4 four four one. Most of them are 3x4. Um, but even when they're the tiniest bits, I've cut those little bits out of something big. Like right here, that's a zipper. That's out of a big fashion magazine or an ad that was a zipper. So even the littlest things on the littlest cards are cut from big things. So I don't very rarely keep little bitty bitty bits <coughs> of things. I paint it out. So like if this is too big, it'll get painted down. Do you see what I'm saying? So these are some of the ones that I've done that are inches. I guess they're, is it two inches? And uh, so things like this. The tiniest ones, they've been cut down from big elements and then painted. I paint the tiny bits. Like the little river flow in there, that's all paint. Let's find some that show up better. Ooh, all those little people and all that's all paint. Um, this is from a big watch piece. And I cut it down to look like a little spaceship. Same for this. All those little people are painted in. So I don't cut little bitty things. Um, I'll glue something larger on here and then paint it out. Okay, let's move this out of the way. Okay. All right, so let's see. And then, of course, in big things like this, I'm using, obviously, bigger elements anyway. All right, sip of cold coffee. And let's get to gluing. We're going to start with this. I don't know where it's going to go exactly, but I'm liking it. <laughs> okay, so now that I'm going to glue, let's get my glue brush and everything out here. And the glue I put down. Let's move my pencils out of the way so I have some space. Okay, so when I glue, I put down a base. And I'm just going to try to keep it in here. I put down the matte medium on the base and on the back and on the top. <laughs> I know that sounds like, oh, well, you put some on the base, you don't really need any on the back. You do if you don't want wrinkles. I'm just saying it does matter. Then I'll take a card and just smash it down. It, I don't know why, but it does matter that you put it on the back. 
So in other words, like here, I'm going to put the glue down here on the back of the watch piece and over the top. And then take a card and kind of smooth it out. And then I know I gotta go from this one because you gotta go back to front. If you and if you have tons and tons of stuff, uh, collage bits, put down. Take a picture of it if you're afraid you're gonna forget where you had something. <clears throat> but I don't have that many elements here. So I'm going to put three or four things here and I'll just smash them all down at the same time. So he's going to kind of go right about there, I think. I don't want to cover up that 30. There we go. Okay, so now, you know, while it's still wet, though, I mean, you can wait a second. Just smash it all down while it's wet. Then you'll have excess on your thing here. Just put that down over here. So you're not wasting it. Okay. And see, this is why I said you don't really, I didn't really need to put a base coat all over the whole thing um, to get rid of the shine because I'm doing so much. Um, this is up more. Because I'm putting so much here on these big pieces. This one I want right under that star. And if anything hangs over the edge, that doesn't really matter either. You can just cut it uh, off the edge later. Okay, so there's our little fox pods. Now let's smash this down. And be careful when you do this part the scraping of the you know smashing it down it depends like so this is like heavy calendar paper but if you're using magazine images you can scrape the ink off the calendar I mean off the fashion magazine pages so be careful when you do this part you know if you see you're starting to pull the ink off of your image then you know be a little careful all right so I think I'm done gluing so I'm gonna put my glue brush back in the water and get me out some baby wipes to clean my hands and smear paint. The so fox pods. <laughs> uh, is that cat? <laughs> uh, th this is that a fox toy? <laughs> it's gonna be a planet. <laughs> Actually, I kind of really should have put the. I don't know if it's too dry. I've, I've already let it dry too much. Usually, if it's still wet, you can peel. I think I really would. I like that watch on top of this. But I've let it dry now, so I'll have to paint that in if I want it that way. I kind of want the watch over the top of that, but it's too late now. <laughs> uh, okay, Ken. Hey, Kate. Okay. Oh, you're here to watch, or do you get to watch for a few minutes? Yeah, Kate the Skate, is, uh, she's doing the idea collecting. She had that video. I linked it to you in the last um, uh in the in the video on that <laughs> okay so now I'm gonna let I'm gonna dry it real quick so heat gun a school started for you Kate Kate's an art teacher Got water on your magazine journal? Oh no. Okay, well, and, and Kate's, Kate and Mary and um, uh, Sonia, they're playing along with the, the I, I mean, a lot of you are. I've got probably a, close to about 100, I don't know, is it maybe not quite 150 yet, people that are playing along. I, I think I over 
ex not over explain over told too much information in that last one but i'll try to like beep 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 back the bus up next week and you know kind of try to maybe i'll redraw it because i had so many ideas and notes on those two different books i was going back and forth to, i need to, i think i need to consolidate everything into one book that i'm showing you guys because as ideas come to me for the idea collecting projects you know I just scribble them down, scribble them in the book, write them on post-it notes, and then I just show them to y'all. Because I really haven't, I don't know that I have time to really go and rewrite everything and to make it any more concise. I don't know. I'm doing this for free, people. <laughs> I don't know that's going to take a lot of time oh your school starts after labor day yes yeah, used to do that uh here we uh, in georgia i think pretty much all the schools have started either this week or the end of last week but they get longer like times uh, like two weeks off at christmas two weeks off at spring you know they just spread it out a little bit more okay so there we go now it's time to pick some colors let me move some of this little stuff out of the way here and get a couple of trays here. And this is all dried paint, so I just squeeze out more paint. And uh, I'm going to try to not go, well, I kind of picked all the same colors I always like. I know I'm going to want some red. Let me move this down so I don't trip over it. All right, let's see. I'll just go with some primary red. Let's see what colors. Oh, you did, yeah, you got, you got a picture of your uh, homework, too? Sarah, okay, good. Do a video, girl. Um, let's see, black and white. Let's see. And my lid broke on this one, so I'm going to just pour some out here. It's black. Black. That's probably way too much. And when you put out too much paint, that's why you need a desk journal. You need a journal to squeeze off or squeegee off any excess into another journal and that could be your magazine journal which let me do that so if I have excess paint then I can put that into my magazine playground here we'll see how this goes some white red white black and some kind of what kind of blue do I want do I want I always go with the same blues but I love the same blues I'm almost out of uniform blue I think wait this one's in here yeah here's some more all right so I guess I'll go with uniform blue and Prussian blue so I'm going to put some out here with the white because I can kind of blend those together with the with my uh, palette knife and Prussian blue and again the colors I'm trying to kind of go with the colors that I have going here so I can't it doesn't matter for me to tell you what blue because if you don't have that blue in your piece it's not going to really matter Dee, I'm going to write out the homework assignments and post a pic on Instagram of oh, the homework assignments that'll be nice you're working on reorganizing so I can stream record again good Sarah all right do I want a little bit? I want either an ochre or a, some kind of a some kind of a brown. Let's see what brown do I want to go with. Some kind of a maybe even terracotta. Maybe a terracotta. There's a little bit of that kind of color in there. Little. Let's just see if that'll work. See if that'll fly. So there we go. We'll go with those. Now I need my palette knife. Where is that baby? I always lose it because I'm using it all the time and then I don't put it w away. Let's see. Where did I put it? I need it. I need my palette knife. It's red. I can't miss it. Hmm. Okay. I'm missing it. Did I stick it in this box? I don't think I want to put it in here because this is my sketch box. All right. Hang on, guys. i got to find my palette knife. Because I need it, but I don't know where I put it. I'm going to have to buy me some more palette knives, I guess. I have my metal one that I use for scraping off in um, my Cameo, but I really don't want to use that one. 
you know, this one, the, my metal one, I use this one for, I guess I'll have to use this one. It's not really the shape I want, but we'll have to roll with it because I don't see where I put it. Odd. Let's move some of this out of the way. I'm sure it's sitting here somewhere. But I don't see it. So we'll go with this one. I need to buy me some more, I guess. These, I just use these plastic ones. The metal one I usually use just for my cameo to scrape off the excess cutting stuff. So we're going to do that. But first, I think what I'll start with, roll up my sleeves a little bit, and I'm just going to start finger painting. I'm going to start with the black and kind of go around the edges. Although down here, I think I'm going to go with the, the terracotta. Because I'm going to kind of do some kind of a watery thing down here maybe I'm not sure but it's going to be this color so I think I'll just start with putting that down here and again guys there's really no rhyme or reason to well there is kind of but <laughs> not really it's not like something I I can say oh now take your palette knife and put some water down uh, you know but I'm not sure I'm liking the peach with the red I'm not I'm not liking the peach with the red. Oh, and that's the other thing. If you have your matte medium, see how I can wipe all this off? The reason I can wipe that completely off is because there's matte medium there. And so that prevents it from going into the paper. But I'm not liking that terracotta color. I almost want a sand color. Let's see. I think I'm going to go with uh, pebble. I'm going to go with pebble. That's too pink. I'm, I'm not liking that pink with the red. That's just me. All right, so let's go back to the, now I'm going to go back in here with um, the sand color. I just want to blend their little bodies into the piece. <clears throat> it must be with your Tim. <laughs> yeah, you lost your Tim Holtz ruler. Oh my gosh, Jean. And I don't want to get too far because I'm going to bring black down in here. But I just want to get their little bodies. I need to trim this because his little body's hanging over the edge. Where's my scissor? What do I do with them? Here. Let's just trim that little bit hanging off the edge here. Okay. I just want to get their bodies blended into the background a little just to start. Now I'm going to go back in with black with my finger painting and I'm going to start blending in these nebulas and stars and whatnot. And I just do this with my finger because I like to. <laughs> Might have a little beach floating up there. I just like, I, I, I don't know, I like what I can do with finger painting and a palette knife and a baby wipe. So until I get in with the tiny details, I usually don't use a brush until the tiny details. But that, that's me. All right, let's see. If I get to an area where I can't fit a finger in there, then that's when I'll... Uh, okay, so I think I want this, this thing behind the watch here. So I'm just going to go ahead and paint that out like that. Like right in here behind his head, there might be a little blast. My finger's a little big for that area, so it might need a brush. But just like that for now. Because I'm not sure how I'm going to go over here with the blue yet. All right, so let's come over here. I don't want any of those bushes. And the other thing, too, is... Because I can wipe it back with the baby wipe, so I can just take a baby wipe and kind of fix things like that. And right here, there's a torn edge. That torn edge is really, the white edge is really easy to get rid of with um, a little bit of paint. And then kind of wipe it back because the core of the paper is in there so I'm just going to kind of blend that out there 
do you, the red ball is from a jewelry calendar. Yes, yes, it is from a jewelry calendar. I think it was a ring. I think it was a ring, right? We cut it off of a ring. <laughs> all right, let's keep rolling here. I want all the edges black, so I'm just going to get in here with my fingers. And just... Because I want the sides to be dark. It'll be like everything kind of comes to the middle. And again, if I get it on the little fox there, if I just catch it while it's wet, or at least damp, I can kind of just wipe it back. Don't want to lose all those little stars. And this is going to have blue in there. I'm going to scrape some other colors in here too. So this is just getting some, getting rid of, you know, kind of trying to meld everything. It's a mind meld! <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to pick up, let's go over here my blues. I'm going to pick up both blues here. Let's just get rid of that. Maybe a little white in there, although I'm going to put white in there with the, the uh, what do you call it, the... Uh, palette knife. And don't be afraid to like go over other things. And you can wipe it back, you can blend it, you can go back and forth. Hmm. Our fox paws are in space. Like uh, like the space station, right? Maybe that's a. It's not anything like perfect. <laughs> so if I get it on the little pods there again, I can go and wipe it back because because the matte medium. It's the matte medium that allows you to go back and wipe it back. Okay? You can't do that if you're working straight on a magazine. <laughs> okay, so now let's come down here. I might need a brush to get in the crevice. Um Sometimes you need a brush to get down in the ditch of a book. So I'm going to take my blues and just get it down there in the ditch. Even though right here we are going to have some other color. So let's just get some on. Let me go ahead and see so you go through a lot of baby wipes. <laughs> okay. All right, down in here, I need some blue. And I'm going to do some more of that sand color and stuff here, too. All right, let me just kind of look around. Okay, I need some more blue over here. And another layer coming across there. Definitely love watching Dee Dee's collages transform a page. Thanks, Jean. It's so fun. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and get some of this white on another little palette here. Let's get a 
let's just get a little one. Where's my palette knife? I'm going to scrape up some of this white and put it on a separate dish so that's just because I'm going to water this down. And I don't want to water it all down. I just want to water some down. All right, so let's give that a few squirts. Get a brush here. Water down. Let's put some. It's not watered down enough. Need a little bit more water down. It might be my brush. Yep, yeah, it's my brush. It's not flexible enough. Let's get a softer brush that'll flick. We need a flicking brush. <laughs> we need a flicking brush. A soft brush. You need a soft brush to flick. That might be a little thick. I need a little thinner still. <clears throat> That's probably enough. Thanks, guys. All right, let me dry this and let's see what else. And I probably should have done some scraping before I did the stars, but we can we can flick some more. All right, let's dry. That's what I had, uh, that, that page a day thing, yeah. Although I never keep them together because I don't buy them for that. <laughs> I'm I just kind of keep this one kind of not too busy. Links are not open, Kathy. Okay, so um, now I'm going to take some white. Again, this isn't the palette knife I usually use. I like the littler one. I guess I could cut this down. But let's see what I can do here now. I want to... I'm going to have to use a combination of... So I have the, like the tan color underneath just to have a color under there. Yeah, I don't love this palette knife. It's too long, but I'm going to try to roll with it. It's too much on a tangent there. Let's go out with it a little. And then we can kind of blend these waves up into the, some too much right there. I'm going to splash it this way. Maybe. Get a little more white right there. A little bit needs. Whoops! Picked up the red, and I haven't even used any red. I'll probably use some in this in some planets. This one just doesn't want to scrape as easily because it's long. But. Bye, Connie. be enough. Okay, let me stop on that and dry this. I know this next step is probably going to creep you guys out, but don't get creeped out. Well, you can get creeped out if you want, <laughs> but, you know. OK, 
Okay, let me get the back end of a paintbrush here for a circle. I'm going to use the back end of a paintbrush that's round-like. So I'm going to take the red. Don't freak out. But it's going to look kind of creepy, but I'm meaning for it to be. Some of y'all will like this, like Colleen will like this. Oh, and she's still here. <laughs> All right, now I also want, I'm going to want a couple other areas here. I don't know if I can do it with a brush here. I could probably just do it with my finger. I want a few more other red accents on there, one in this window. You love the red eye? Okay. <laughs> and let's see, I think maybe this one too. I need to, I'm just using the back of a paintbrush to kind of scrape it in there. And. I think I'm going to want one more. Let me just use a paintbrush. Probably one more somewhere right in here. Because I got this right. Let me just accent this one like that. So I'm going to kind of flow it across the page. And then maybe one right behind there. Okay, so now let's we'll start with this. Let me dry it. Now for some detail. Now I can take my papers out from behind because I'm done going to the edge. And okay, well let me show you this real quick. Well, you know what? I think I need I want a little bit more blue right in here. Hang on. I want a little bit more. I want a little bit more blue right in here. A little bit of white. Scrape that across there. Just a little. All right, let me dry that. I I don't like it right here. Let's fix that with a brush. Where'd my blue paint go? Oh, good grief. Oh, it's right here. Where'd my blue paint go? It's right there. Okay, just a little bit right there. All right, let me dry that. pencils and oh that was what I was going to show you so now I have all this paint left over especially the blue and this peach so that's when you want to have your magazine playground or something a desk journal of some kind to scrape off 
and not waste this paint. So like I'll pick up this peach color and scrape it onto this page. Maybe a little of that white. I might pick up some of the white and the peach. And so I'm not wasting all that paint. It can be used in another journal. See? That's what a desk journal is for. Whether you call it a desk journal, your mixed media magazine, uh, playground, any of anything. Just so that you're not wasting all that paint. See? And then if you don't want it all going one way, then take your baby wipe here and you can kind of blend it. It doesn't have to all be going the same way. So you can see that you can use up, use up your paints on other things. And I know it's a sidebar that you have to do if you're doing another project. And you think, oh, i got to stop and save that paint. Well, you don't have to. But then this page has already got inspiration for you for the next time. You know, the next time you go to open this journal, you'll have some, uh, something to start with already. Okay, so I just want to show you that. Oops, still want my baby wipes. All right, let's move this. I don't have any space. I'm using up all my space. All right, so... Yeah, my coffee's iced coffee for sure by now. Okay. Um, all right, so now I want to get... Let me clean my hands a little more. You know, I go through. I can go through like 20 baby wipes in a project like this. I can go through... When I was doing a lot of these collages, I'd go through a box a week. I was buying, a, you know, two boxes a week, a box a week. All right. So now, let me get a couple pencils over here. I want red. Where is my red? This is uh, poppy red. It's not really, well, it's kind of, poppy red to me is kind of orange. I almost want... Um, not Scarlet, but what's it called? I forget the names. I, I never look at the names. I always just look at the colors. Mm, that's going to be too... Alright, i got to go to my... Tra I mean, off the tray and into the... Into the pile here. I have to sharpen it, but I think this is what I want. Is it scarlet? Scarlet will work. Okay. So I want that. I want white. Yellow ochre. Or yellow or yellow ochre. Probably yellow ochre. Or an orangey yellow. This one is, uh, what is this one? Orange. Mm, I don't know. Can't read it. And white. Here's white. Okay, we'll probably go with those. I might need some more, but we'll start with this. So I'm going to start with white. Uh-oh, what happened here? My color went away. <laughs> I think that tray, the tray kind of flashed us out here. Let's readjust. Got a little flashed. That's better. Something's not dry here. Gotta dry that. Hang on, guys. I'm trying to get the color right. That's pretty close. Are we still with the tour? All right, let me dry this, guys, because I'm getting my sleeves in the white paint down here. We're almost done with this one. All right, 
so I want to kind of outline them not outline them but like glow them and then the stars too and remember it's got matte medium and acrylic paint so I can do all kinds of things with the pencil on top of it And these are the kind of details I, I enjoy is because then I get into the world and start really imagining what it's like and adding details. And I'm, I'm debating whether I want to light their eyes up or not. Or do I just want to leave them red? Because it's kind of dramatic with no pupils and no highlights. Am I still here, guys? I'm going to do my watch hands. Because I like those, kind of like my trademarks. I like my watches and my element of time. But I also like the watch hands themselves. I think I need to light their little chin up a little. I'm losing his little face there. Let me do a test in chat. Am I, are we, am I here, guys? Okay, thanks, Jean. <laughs> I wasn't quite sure. All right, so let's see here. Do I want a little bit of foam action? I think I want to do that with, I'll show you how I do my foam and my fog and mist. It, take a baby wipe and I put white paint in my hand and it kind of smashes it into the, it smashes it into the baby wipe and kind of makes it consistent. And then I can do like um, mist and fog, clouds and different things like this. Just kind of mist in it. You got to do it gently. You got to have very little. And I don't know if I want it over that planet or not. Yeah, maybe. I kind of went a little overboard on that, I think. I might have to knock it back. I don't know. When you stop and start recording, it starts to be wonky. I haven't stopped and started a recording. I'm still on the same recording. I'm not sure what you mean. I haven't stopped and started it. It's still going for me. It's still going for me. Knock that back a little. Let's go. Yeah, I could do that between recordings, Jean. Okay, so there we go. Now let's dry. But I'm right now I'm not I didn't stop. do a little, let's use a Posca here, whoops, this one needs a star above its head, there wasn't one there, 
so I'll kind of glow that one here in a minute and I think I'll add a few more larger ones like maybe I want a shooting star or two And then again, this one's going to be, needs a star above its head. These do button. <laughs> Alright, now I'm going to take my red. Let me sharpen it. Hey, Carol. Riding in the luggage compartment of a tour bus. Oh! <laughs> Get out of the luggage compartment! Oh my gosh! Alright, so let's see. I want to kind of do a little bit of work on these two planets that I drew in. Get them nice and round. I'll probably give them a little bit of a glow. I think I might give the glow to some of these pods too. Why not? Let's have them. They're out here in space. They're going to glow a little. <laughs> Put a couple extra little stars twinkling on top of them. I'm going to get in the groove here for a minute. Wrap this up. Even though this is my favorite part. Don't like to rush this part because I love the little details and playing here. But we got to get crack a lack on a stream. So. Alright, I'm going to want a few other little glows. I'll probably want one here. and probably one right here this little I mean I, I shouldn't go too far with them because they're going to have tangents here with that and then I'm going to want one down here I gotta do my watch as I'm gonna after this dries I'm gonna soften them with pencil. Okay, let's see. I want a couple extra brighter white things here and there. So I'm gonna go around those with red. Yeah, I know, I, but I, I know that doesn't have anything to do with it. Okay, let's see. Let's go back with my white.
I'm just softening all my stars. Now I'm going to do my watch hands. And then I think we'll be done. Put a couple stars in there because you can see through there. I need to blend this a little somehow. Let's see. Let me get a big brush. Let's get a smaller one. And this too needs just a little more contrast. kind of blending some of this stuff together. Making the little world work. Thanks, Kathy. It's these little fussy details like this that make it really awesome, but it takes time to do them. I almost want this one a little bigger. Maybe a small one there. Some little steps might be good. I don't know if I want to do some little... I'm kind of liking the idea of that. Let's see. Let me get a little flat brush. Maybe that one. 
<clears throat> and I think I need a little less black right here. Hang on, where's my brush? The other one. Oh. Where'd it go? Here we go. This right here is too much white because I'm going to put my watch hands in here. So I need that a little less. And then a couple of stars in there. Let me dry this because I want to put some stars. Some stairs right there. I'm imagining some stairs coming out into space. I have to plan where it would be. I kind of want them over here, but that may be too much. They almost need to be right in here. I'm not sure. Maybe right there. So I'm just thinking here, I'll just put them in. If I don't like it, I'll just paint them out. But I'm thinking I want some stairs. I gotta get down here so I get them straight. Okay, so let me stand up. I can't tell if they're curved. <laughs> and I'll get in there with the Poscata. Give them a little highlight and stuff. Something like that. I like that. All right, let me dry. It needs one more. It looks like it's not connect. Like they're gonna have to make a hop, skip, and a jump to get up there this one and that one needs to be shorter the paint's a little watery right there okay let me go with the black it's shorter still I'll go in there with some Posca in a minute. I want my, um, either, I've got to decide where I want it coming off of. Do I want it coming off here? I think I want it coming off of here. Right here. Right there. I think I can freehand this. <laughs> Let's see. Which way do I want it to go? Do I want it to go right through that planet? I think I'm going to have it go through and come out the back. Through that planet right there. And out the back. Now, I'm going to turn it upside down because I can't draw a straight line from there. want it to cross over kind of but that kind of goes through that or do I just want it to end here I'll just well I don't know let me look at it again do I want it to cross over this way I kind of want it across two pages but then again it would look good right there but it'll look good crossing two pages because it connected. <laughs> oh, no. I 
I'm determined, I mean, I'm kind of deciding whether I want it right there or do I want it to go ac cut across two pegs? I think I want it to cut across. So that means it's going to have to go through right in here. All right, let's turn it. Got to go this way with my hand. Now a little bit of a shadow. There's a black, dark blue. What do I do with it? Here, here. Then I want a little bit of a white where it's coming into the planet here. Probably a little bit of a glow from behind, a little reflective light back there, and then a little bit of a shadow, very thin, thin, thin. need to be just one thickness thicker. I think it needs just to be one little millimeter thicker. Okay. And we're going to show y'all Cam's work that he sh showed me a couple of pieces that he did okay I think I'm good should sign it a little somewhere don't want it in black don't want it in white. I'll just go right over this all right I think we're done I think we are done. Alrighty, so I think I'm going to stop, guys, on this. I mean, we can maybe do something else until Janet gets back. But, yeah. Let me draw my name over here because I signed that with the Posca and it's wet. Button. I don't know if it'll show up on my phone, but I'll try. I tried to, and I did uh, sh do a uh, show. Erin commissioned me to do her uh, pet that went over the Rainbow Bridge last year, but it wouldn't. That's one of the videos that didn't upload. So let's see if I can show you. Maybe I can adjust the light. I don't know why. Jean, how do you show? Jean, your pictures always show up on your iPad. Mine do not show up on the iPad. Let me try to adjust the light. Let's see. Let me do an auto. Let me do an auto light and see if I can get it to adjust. There we go. It's not perfect, but it's something. So this is <laughs> this is Aaron's VG. It's a little better. It's see, it keep wanting it keep want it wants to keep changing. Let's see if I can fix it again. Yeah, see, it wants to keep flashing out. See, look at that. Look what it did right here. Let's see if I can try again. Yeah, see, look at that. It's, I'm trying to do auto light. There we go. How's that? 
so it's okay it's not focused there oh we almost had it dang we almost had it girls <laughs> Oh my gosh, we almost had it there for a second, right? <laughs> Wait a minute. Now, now it's not focused now, but you can kind of see it a little bit. There we go. It focused for a minute. So anyway, well, what I'm going to try to do is show you that. <laughs> it did, I mean, Erin says she'll show it on a video when she gets it. All right, so let's try camera and stuff. All right, so he did some paintings here. Um, I'll show you the big painting, and I'll show it to you. I'll try to close in on it. So let me see. I think it needs to be cropped here. Let me try to crop it for you. Hang on. Get it down a little smaller. It's so cute. I know all of you that uh, like Halloween stuff will like it, but all right. So here, let's see if we can do this one. This is Cameron's. Oh, the color's not showing up at all. The color, eh? It's not gonna work, guys. Let's see. There, there for a second. The color's not showing up. But there's his um, kind of zombie girls. I got some close-ups of them. Like, here's this one. Hang on again. Let's see if it'll focus. There we go. And then, let's see, i got another one here. This one, let's turn it sideways. This one's almost done, and he's got two kids sitting on a wall, and he's going to do graffiti on the wall. This one's kind of, this one's huge. This one's like 22, or it's probably about 18 by 22, so it's really big. So, yeah. I love, look how our little shoe is dropping off. So he's not done with the background or the wall, but let's see if we can get it to. I love her little shoe falling off. I know. But yeah, here's the, let me do this one again one more time. Let's see if I can get it to focus. There we go. So yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's see if we can get this one back. And yeah, thanks, guys. The zombie girls, yeah, you like the zombie girls, yeah. <laughs> Monster high ish, yeah, exactly, button. Anyway. Um, yes, the girl with the green hair, Aaron, on the wall is the one that he, well, let's put it this way. He inked it. Th that's probably the one that is in that picture is the third inking. Because not only did I mess him up with the first one, so he started the second inking here. He redid it a third time. <laughs> he redid it a third time. So, yeah, that was the third time. So, anyway, guys, I'm going to stop this recording. And if y'all want to hang out, I haven't seen his Janet back yet. Um, otherwise, I'm going to, I'll find something else to do. But I need to stop this recording and save it so we don't lose it. So hang on, guys, and I'll be right back. Maybe. I mean, if you're watching this recording, I'll try to be back. <laughs>